Good day, my esteemed viewers out there. You are welcome to Literature Hub 247. This is a channel where literature is discussed 24 7. This particular video is about a poem titled Digging. Digging is composed by Seamus Ine and is one of the recommended poems in the 2026-2030 harmonized syllabus. Let's go ahead and do justice to the poem. Digging by Seamus Hine. This is just the introduction to the poem, that is, the foreknowledge about the poem. Digging is a poem of nature that explores and compares both physical and mental labor. This is done through the poet's identity and the tradition of his people. What we are seeing here is that the poem compares physical and mental labor. His forefathers, that is the poet forefathers, were predominantly farmers who worked assiduously by tilling the land to make a living. He compares this with his own age and his own work as a writer. He reconciled the two tasks and brought out the similarities and the differences, that is, the differences between farming and writing. Farming belongs to his forefathers while he is engaged in writing. What he's trying to do here is just to bring out the comparison of the two tasks. Let's continue. His father and grandfather work with his spades to dig the ground and harvest potatoes. The poet uses his pen to dig into his memories to write something valuable. That is, the two aspects deal with digging. Why his forefather digs the ground with their spades, he makes use of pen and digs to his memories, that is to his brain, to write out something valuable. You see that the two tasks are productive. He believes there is transition and continuity in the family tradition. Knowledge is passed from one generation to another, but in a different way. He juxtaposes the two, using a spade to dig and using a pen to dig. He summises that the two are forms of labor and creativity with values. Now, this is the stanza by stanza analysis of the poem, Digging. The poem opens with the poet's experience as a writer. He describes how he holds a pen when writing. Let's quote from the poem. You must have the text of this poem by your side while listening to this video. Now let's quote from the poem. Between my finger and my thumb, the square pen rests, snug as a gun, quote and unquote. The circumstances describe how his father does his work, farming. He mentions the instruments used by his father in digging the ground, that is speed, quote and unquote. The father makes use of speed. Now let's quote from the poem again. Under my window, a clean rasping sand, when the space sinks into the briefly ground, my father, digging, I look down, quote and unquote. That is describing how his father works. The text stanza describes how his father works. It describes how he bends low to work on the far beds and dig the ground on the potato farm. He makes use of imagery to describe how strenuous it is for his father to work on the farm. He strains his buttock, working among the flower beds. His father bends regularly, digging on the potato farm. Let's go to the poem again. Quote. Till his straining rump among the flower beds, bends low, comes up twenty years away, stooping, reading through potato drills, where he was digging. Quote and unquote. Can we take that again? Till the straining rump among the flower bed 
bends low, comes up twenty years away, stooping in reading, through potato drays, where he was digging, quote and unquote. So he's trying to describe how his father works here and how strenuous that work it is. The first stanza further describes how his father works on his farm with all his body. He clears the bushes and plants the potatoes that are harvested later from the field. He also describes how lovely the potatoes are in their hands after the harvest. Now let's go from the poem again. The quartz boots nestled on the log, the shaft, against the inside knee was lower family. He rooted out all tops, buried the bright egg deep to scatter new potatoes that we picked, laughing their cool hardness in our hands. Quote and unquote. Now the fifth stanza. The fifth stanza, a two line stanza, tells us that the poet father inherited farming from his father. This means that the work is his father's and grandfather's work. He says that his father can handle the speed like his grandfather. This telling us that uh, his father also inherited farming from his father. Now from the poem. By God, the old man could handle his speed just like his old man. This is telling us that he uh, inherited it. From his father, that is uh, the poet's father. The sister expresses how hard working his father is. He says that his father works on the feet more than any man. So far, it takes me to him to drink on the farm. That is, the father is very hard working, like his grandfather. He says he carries, he carries milk in the bottle to his father on the farm. His father stops working to drink it and afterward bends down. And continues working again, he gains new strength and works at uh, Let's go from the poem to corroborate what we have uh, discussed now. My father caught more puff in a day than any other man on Tuna's book. When I carry him make with a bottle, cock slowly with paper, he straightened up to drink it, then fell to write away, naked and slicing neatly, even salt over his shoulder. Going down and down for the good tough digging, quote and unquote. The last two stanzas showcase the result of his father's work on the farm. The old man is successful in his farming work with the growth of potatoes everywhere. The potato creates a sensory impression here to describe the success of his father. Quote, Squelch and slap of soggy pigs, unquote. He fooled the sense of sand. White, coarse smell of potato, quote and unquote, appeals to the sense of smell. He can still remember this in his brain, though they are successful, but he doesn't have any speed to follow their path. That's uh, uh, the use of an uh, image to deer. His father makes use of speed, why he makes use of a different uh, thing, he makes use of his own pen. The poet tries to compare the activities of farming and writing here, but concludes that he doesn't have a speed like them to dig the ground. Instead, he has his pen to dig with. While his father and the forefathers dig the heart with their spades to bring out something, he also digs with his pen to achieve something, that is, the two tasks have uh, results, they have their results, but there are different ways of achieving the results, especially with the use of the tools. The coarse smell of potato mold, the squelch and slab, this is quoted from the poem, the soggy pig, the cut cut of an edge, true living roots are waking in my head, but I have no space to follow men like them. Between my finger and my thumb, the square pen rests, I will dig with it, quote and unquote. So that is just the analysis of the poem, digging. Now to the themes of the poem. The first one there is creativity and labor. The poet compares intellectual work, writing in brackets, with physical labor, that is digging. 
in doing this, he doesn't condemn any, but highlights the values embedded in the two. Digging serves as a foundation for writing, which the poet engages in. The poet is also a product of physical labor. So far, the father sponsored him right from his uh, tender age, right from the time he was born. So it's a product of physical labor. This suggests that each type of labor has its own worth and the value being contributed to cultural heritage. Another theme there is family tradition. The family heritage of Simos Ine forms the subject matter of this poem. He goes down memory lane, reflecting on the work of his father and grandfather who were farmers. They dig their hearts to cultivate crops, especially potatoes, which are mentioned in the poem. Though he has chosen a different line which is writing, he still recognizes the significance and the value of his heritage. We also have hard working as one of the themes there. The poet's father and grandfather had hard working as expressed in stanza 5 and 6 of the poem. In stanza 5, he says his father handles his paid like his grandfather. In stanza 6, the grandfather, the grandfather is said to surpass any other man while working. This invariably means that the duo is at working. By God, the old man could undo his pain just like his old man. That is quoting from the poem. My grandfather caught more tough in the day than any other man on Tuna's book. Once I carried him me with a bottle. Cocked slowly with paper. Is written up to drink it, then fell to write away, ninking and slicing neatly, even salt over his shoulder, going down and down for the good of digging. Quote unquote. The poet also stresses the importance of food in the body, that is, the importance of food in our body chemistry. This importance of this essential aspect of human life is identified in the poem. He makes use of he makes us understand that his father and grandfather are hard working and work more than any other. He doesn't stop there. He explains further the secrets of his father's strength. He says the make he carries to the farm for his grandfather gives him more strength to work more. Let's quote from the poem. Once I carry him milk in the bottle, cock slowly with paper is written up to drink it, then fell to right away, nicking and slicing neatly, even so over his shoulder, going down and down for the good of digging. We also have transition as one of the themes. According to the English dictionary, transition is the process of change from one form, state, style, or place to another. In this poem, the poet digs into how his father and grandfather dodged the ground to half value to life. But he has transited to another form of digging, which also has value to life. He uses different tools to, get, to dig, unlike his father and grandfather who use spades. That is, the two tasks are forms of digging, but in different form. Why his father and grandfather made use of spades? He's not making use of a pen. To dig into his memory to bring out something valuable. He embraces a different form. He sits at a table with his pen, which is his own tool, and digs into his brain and puts something valuable on paper. Let's now identify some poetic devices used in the poem digging. The first one is metaphor. The act of digging is the central metaphor of the poem. The physical labor of the poet forebears and the metaphorical digging into his own memories as well as the family history through his writing. There is also the use of imagery. The physical act of digging is well described through the use of imagery. Sensory impressions are created to vividly engage the readers and add to the effectiveness of the poem. For example, in stanza 7, Cold smell of potato mold 
kutano quote a base of the sense of smell also squelch and slap of soggy pit kutano quote the full the sense of smell also the use of imagery is central to the effectiveness of the poem the reader also feel like the poet while going to the poem that is we are perceiving the the picture of what is being described in the poem in our brain that is imagery similarly the, this device is used in the poem to create vivid comparisons for instance in line 2 of the poem the positioning of the poem used by the poet is compared to the snug fit of a gong the scrap pen rests snug as a gong quote unquote with this the act of writing is linked with the power of a weapon that we all know how powerful gun is so that is pen is now being compared to uh, the power of the gun alliteration this is a figure of sound that adds musical quality to a poem it is the repetition of a consonant sound at the beginning of two or more words in a line of a poem it is used in the following lines of the poem you can check it 9 1 2 4 10 12 13 26 27 and 30 there is also the use of repetition repetition in order to emphasize the connection between the poet and his family's practical labor between my finger and my thumb quote unquote is repeated in the first line of the poem and the first line of the last stanza of the poem this creates a parallel structure that adds beauty to the poem and calls attention to the subject matter. We all know that repetition is used to call attention, and uh, uh, I mean, call the attention of the of the uh, readers. The score pen reads, quote unquote, is repeated in lines two and thirty-one of the poem. This is to lay emphasis on the tools used by the poet. We also have the use of onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia is used in the poem to make the readers feel more engaged in the scene. Squelch, quote unquote, and slab, quote unquote, are words that are associated with digging, thereby adding quality to the to the poem. The last but not the least is the use of enjambment. This is the effective use of there is the effective use of enjambment in the poem. The lines flow into each other without the use of punctuation marks. This poetic device creates fluidity and a sense of continuity in the poem. It helps in the concise description of the act of digging. By this, we have done justice to the poem titled Digging, composed by in it so if you are just joining this channel please try and click on the subscribe button so that you will have access to all our videos on this channel and if you have any question be it on this video or any of the poems or any question on literature just send it to the message box there and the questions will be attended to you are free to share any of our videos on any social media platform. You can also invite your friends to join us because we are going to do a lot on this channel. We have discussed some of the poems. All the texts are also going to be discussed. Thank you as you join this channel. And God will bless you.